The Yamaha Revstars are really cool guitars and they're also kind of similar. So what if you have the sick looking 502 in shot black and the flame topped 720B stuck in your mind, but you just can't afford to purchase both? What do you do then? You must choose, but choose wisely. Now, honestly, our little chainmail covered friend here is being referenced in a rather tongue in cheek manner because both of these guitars are wise choices. But let's listen to them side by side in between talking about some spec differences so you can decide which one speaks to you. To me, the differences on these guitars really comes down to three main categories. Number one, cosmetics. Number two, the hardware. And number three, the pickups. In the cosmetics category, we can talk finish options. Both guitars have the same style of finish with a matte front and a gloss poly back, but not all of the colors are interchangeable. The 502 comes in a shot black, like you see here, and also a grayish green color. Both of those are solid finishes, no flame top options to them. The 720B, does come in the shot black, but like in the example here, you also could get flame top veneer choices if that's more to your liking. All of them are really cool. It just depends on what you want. Also in the cosmetics category, we can talk fretboard inlays. The 502 comes with simple dot inlays up the neck and the 720B has split uh, almost wing shaped inlays. <laughs> Our second category we said was the hardware. Now, a lot of it is similar, like all the metal on the guitar has the same satin flavor to it, and you do have the same exact control knobs on both guitars. But the 502 comes with standard tuners up at the headstock, and the 720B has an upgrade to locking tuners. Now, the standards are just fine. I'm not really a I have to have locking tuners kind of guy, but I will say the 720B having the Bigsby trim it is nice having those locking tuners. Speaking of the Bigsby, that's probably the biggest hardware difference between these two guitars. The 502 comes with an adjustable wraparound bridge and the 720B a tunematic bridge and a Bigsby B50. You would think that the Bigsby would be the less stable of the two options here, but even though the 502 is my personal favorite, uh, I have some trouble with this wraparound bridge at times. It gives me a little bit of a fight. I don't know if it comes across in today's audio clips, but even though I've dialed in the intonation, I've even filed down the nut slots perfectly, every so often I get these slight dissonant warbly frequencies that pop up. And my only guess is that it might be coming 
from the bridge. Now the 720B, uh, having the Tunematic bridge, uh, I've never really had an issue with it and I've not really had to do much setup to it. It's always treated me very well. So I don't know, maybe I just have a particularly weird 502 bridge on this one. Maybe I should look into uh, putting a Tunematic and a Bigsby on it uh, instead. And honestly, that would be super cool. Uh, very Neil Youngish in my opinion, and I'm really not opposed to that. <music> Number three, we have the pickups. And in my opinion, this is the biggest sway factor in deciding which of these two guitars you want. The 502 comes with a set of Yamaha's own P90s and the 720B, a set of Yamaha's full-sized Filtertron style humbuckers. One option's not better than the other, they're just completely different. Personally, I'm a P90 guy myself, and I really love the ones that come in this Revstar. The middle position just has a nice snap to it that I'm always looking for. The Filtertrons too, they can get a little bit snappy, just not quite as much, but I gotta say the 720B has one of the coolest bridge humbuckers that I've played in a really long time. It's just a unique set of Filtertrons that may be exactly what you're looking for. It's a fairly low output on those uh, between the four to 5K range, and the P90s are reading around the 8K range. Since we're talking about the pickups, we also should include the dry switch because that's involved here. It is the same low cut filter on both guitars, but we should hear how it interacts with the P90s versus the Filtertrons. So let's do that now. My number one tip when trying to decide between two guitars is play them both and walk away with the one that speaks to you because you can't go wrong that way. But let's be honest, these days, that's not always a viable option with many deals happening online. If that is the case, if you're trying to decide between these two, hopefully this video helped you out. Really, they're both super sweet guitars. The 720B has some slight upgrades to it, but also a slightly higher price tag attached. In the end, it's really just up to you to decide. As always, I've been Joey. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please drop a comment below and gently tap that like button on your way out because I would really appreciate it. Also, be on the lookout for more great stuff coming soon because there's always more great stuff coming soon. Take care, and I'll see you guys next time. You have chosen wise.